In this video, I am going to introduce the increment file, decrement file, clear file, and clear W instructions. And after this, you should be able to implement and use these instructions in your programs. The first instruction we are looking at is the increment file instruction. It has two opcodes, F being the file that you want to increment, and D being the destination of that increment process. If D is a zero, then the destination or the answer of the increment will be written in the W register. And if D is a 1, the answer of that increment will be written inside the F register or back into the file itself. Something to take note of is that if the file is already at 255 and you then increment it, the file will roll over to the value of 0 and the Z flag, which indicates a 0 arithmetic operation, will be set. On any other value of the file F, uh, the file will just be incremented normally and the answer will then be saved either in the working register if D is a zero or in the file or back into the file itself when D is equal to one. When using Pixum IDE, ensure that you have selected the correct microcontroller by clicking on the microcontroller uh, part number and then either selecting the PIC 16F627 or the 16F627A depending on the specific device that you have. Also remember that when you are writing a program um, add the comment block so that uh, people can see um, what the purpose of the code is, who the author is and any um, compiler settings or few settings or clock settings that you might have used in this specific program. Remember that these four lines of code uh, should be included in the beginning of your program um, in order to ensure that this code will function properly. Okay, looking at the increment file command, um, we can just do this increment file and we're going to increment the value of file 20 hex. So we want to select the file that we want to increment and we also need to select um, destination of the increment process. Now we want to save the incremented value back inside the file or into the file itself so that should be a comma one. Uh, remember that the one represents the destination. Um, if it's a zero then the incremented value will be saved back into the working register and if it is a one the incremented value will be saved inside of the file. Let's see how this works. Uh, remember to go to Tools, Assemble and Load. Um, ensure that your simulation rate is step by step. Start the simulator. Oh yes, don't forget to open up the Breakpoints Manager, otherwise you will not be able to see how the code steps um, is implemented. Right, so pressing F2, you'll see it goes to increment file x20, comma 1. So we expect this value over there increment by one if we step through our code and you can see that that is exactly what is happen happening go to main goes back and this process will then continue as long as the program executes okay <clears throat> if we don't want to save the incremented value into the file itself we can save the incremented value into the working register Let's see what happens when we do that. Semblant load. Okay, we go to tools, open up the breakpoints manager. Yes. We ensure that our simulation step rate is step by step. We start the simulator and by pressing F2 we can actually then go through our program. Now the command that's going to be executed is increment file. The file that we are going to increment is hex 20. And the answer of that increment is going to be saved back into the working register. Now if we increment the, or if we execute this, we are not going to see any changes in this position over here. However, we will see a change in the working register. So clicking F2, we see that the value of file register 20 hex did not change. However, the value in the working register did change because we took whatever value was in 
register hex 20 which was 0 we started with 0 we incremented that by 1 and then we saved that incremented value or that incremented answer inside of the working register now if we keep on executing this you will we'll just see that none of the values change remember what this command does is it takes whatever value is in file register 20 which stays a 0 and increments that so it's always going to do 0 plus 1 and the answer of that 0 plus 1 is always going to be saved in the working register so this setup over here will never increment the file itself it will just save the incremented value in the working register let's look at another example uh, and in this example I want to load pre or preload the value the file register with a value so I'm going to move a literal value into um, file register 20 hex I want to load the value 250 decimal 250 into the working register then I want to move the value of the working register into file 20 hex so after these two commands we expect to see the value in this position over there being equal to 250 then I want to increment that value but I want to save the answer back into the file itself so I'm going to have file um, plus one and that file plus one value must be saved back into the file um, let's see what's going to happen when we do this we go to tools assemble and load um, go to tools over there breakpoints manager yes load the breakpoints manager ensure that our simulation rate is still step by step go to simulation start the simulation and we can now step through our code so the very first command will move the value 250 decimal into the working register there you can see that it will then take that value and move it into file uh, location 20 there it is and now I'm going to increment this hex FA value and I'm going to save the answer back into that specific location so that should change to FB and every time that I that the program goes back to main and increments the file it should increment and I want to do this a few times you can see there that it goes FD and then FE and FF and this is what I want to show you the moment that the value inside of a file register is 255 and I increment that file the value will actually roll over to 0 you see it rolled over to 0 and the status register has now have the Z flag changed to a 1 indicating that a 0 condition occurred after an arithmetic function now if we keep on stepping through the code this program will literally just carry on uh, incrementing that file we don't do anything with the data it just increments the file um, until we stop uh, stepping through our code if you want to close the breakpoints manager you can just click on the X and you can go back to your edit screen to change any of the code that you want the next command we look at this a decrement file command it also has two opcodes a file that you need to specify as well as the destination of this uh, decrement action uh, the decrement file command will decrement the content of a file by one and the answer will be saved um, depending on the value of d if the value of d is equal to zero the answer of this decrement will be saved in the working register and if the value of d is equal to one the destination is the file register itself one thing to uh, take note of is that if the file is a zero and is decremented it will roll back to the value of 255 let us see how this command works uh, in pixum ide once again when you've opened up pixum ide ensure that you've selected the correct microcontroller uh, as previously you can click on that and then select either the 16f627 or the 16f627a depending on which one of the devices you have also remember to add the comment block indicating who you are and the purpose of the program and remember to add these four lines of code to ensure the proper operation of your program so let's have a look what happens with a decrement file 
When using the decrement file command, it's important to remember that we not only need to supply the file that we want to decrement, but also where we want the decremented value to be saved in. Now, in this specific example, I want the decremented value to be saved back into the file, uh, and therefore uh, that destination bit needs to be a 1. Let's see how this works. So, assemble and load. We go to tools. We open up the breakpoints manager. We ensure that our simulation rate is step by step. We start our simulator. And if we now step through this code, uh, we are going to see something uh, quite interesting. If we take 0, 0 and we subtract 1 from 0, the value in 20 is going to change to FF or 255. And you can see that happened right there. The reason is very simple. We have an 8-bit processor. And if we take the value 0 and we subtract 1 from that, we actually have a value of 255 as the answer. And the hex equivalent of 255 is equal to FF. If we now keep on stepping through this, the value of file register 20 will just decrement as per normal. If you want to close the breakpoints manager, you can just click on the X and you can go back to your assembler screen in order to change uh, your code or edit a few things. Uh, for this example, I want to add or preload a number into file location 20x. So move literal to W. Um, I just want to load the decimal value of 5 into it, so I need to move it into the working register. Then after it's in the working register, I can move it to location 20 hex. I'm not going to change this command. I still want the value that is in file hex 20 to be decremented, and the answer must be saved into the file itself. Assemble and load. Uh, tools. Breakpoints manager. Uh, ensure that the rate is still step by step. We can go to simulation and we can start that. And what we should see now is that we will have a value of 5 loaded into file location 20. And if we decrease it by 1, uh, it will decrement until we get to 0, as in the previous example. And when we decrement the value 0, it will roll back to 255 decimal or FF uh, hex. Close the breakpoints manager and you get back to the assembler screen in order for you to edit or fix some errors in your code. The clear file command will load the value 0 into the nominated file. The clear file command has only one opcode and that is the file that you want the value to be cleared off. If we look at this example, uh, move little to w takes the value 10 and loads that into the working register. Move WF takes whatever is in the working register and moves that into a specific file location. In this case, it's hex 20. And then clear file will essentially load 0 into that file and thereby clearing the value uh, that we've preloaded into that file. Let's have a look and see how this works in Pixum IDE. After opening Pixum IDE, ensure that you have selected the correct a microcontroller and also remember to add your comment block indicating who you are the title and the description of what this program is going to do remember to also add these four lines of code to ensure the correct execution of your program now if we look at clear file we need to add which file we want to clear in this case we are going to work with um, file location x20 but if we execute this command as it is here, we will just be clearing the value 0 and we won't see anything uh, happening. Um, I want to add a value or move a value into x20. So after this command, the value 7 will be moved into the working register. Now we need to move whatever is in the working register into the file itself. So we move wf x20. Um, and after this, the value 7 will be loaded into file location 20. Let's see what happens when we execute this program. Go to tools, assemble and load. Tools in the main Pixum IDE screen, we open up breakpoints manager. 
uh, we ensure that our simulation rate is step by step. We start our simulation and we can now step through our code. The very first line that's going to be executed is move literal to W7, which will take the literal value of 7 and move that into the working register. There you can see that happening. The next line of code will take whatever is in the working register, move that into file location 20. And this command here will essentially clear the value of file location 20, loading a zero into that. So after executing this command, the value of file location hex 20 will be zero. And you can see they changed to zero. Go to main will just loop back into the main routine and we won't see any changes happening because the value is already zero and we clearing it does not change the value of zero. You can go and close the breakpoint manager to return to the assembler entry screen for changes to your code. The last command we are going to look at in this video is the clear w command. This command will clear the value of the w register and it is essentially the same as moving zero into the working register. Let's have a look at Pixum IDE and see how that works. After opening Pixum IDE, ensure that you've selected the correct processor. Um, and then in the assembler screen, remember to add your comment block, indicating who you are and the title and the description of the code that you're writing. Remember to add these four lines of code to ensure correct operation of your program. In the main code, we want to add the command clear w. Clear w does not have any opcodes because the command itself spells out what is going to happen. It is going to clear the working register. In essence, it is going to load zero into the working register. In order for us to test that, we need to preload the working register with a value and we're going to load an arbitrary value of 11 into the working register. Go to Tools, Assemble and Load. In the main pick some IDE screen, go to Breakpoint Manager. Ensure that your simulation is running uh, step by step. Start the simulator and by pressing F2 we can now step through our code. The first line is going to move 11 into the working register and you can see there it loaded uh, 11 decimal into the working register and this command is going to clear that. So it will literally just load 0 into the working register. Um, closing the breakpoint manager will take you back to your assembler screen for any changes. To conclude this video, just a quick recap. We've looked at the following commands. Increment file, which will increment a file and can either save the increment value back into the file or into the working register. We've looked at decrement file, which will decrement a file by one and either save the decremented answer into the file or the working register. Clear file clears a file or writes a zero into the file location and clear w will clear the value or write a zero uh, as a value into the working register.